Hello students, this is Mrs. Jones again. Um, today I'm talking about how to work with degrees, minutes, and seconds. What I mean by that is how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide using degrees, minutes, and seconds. So I'm going to do a couple examples for you to help you with your quiz that I want you to take after you watch this video. Um, first ones I'm going to start with are multiplication ones, like this example right here. It's kind of feels like the dis distrib distributive property where you take this five and you multiply it by each piece in the angle. So bear with me, I'm going to use my calculator here. So five times 22 is 110 degrees. Five times 10 is 50 and 5 times 13 is 65 seconds. Now, at this point, we don't really want to leave it like that. We need to massage it a little bit, I guess, that 65 seconds is too big. 65 seconds, we can take 60 of them away to make another minute. So we're regrouping, reorganizing a little bit to make our answer better. So this would be the correct answer. All right, let's try another one of those. So this one just has a degree in a minute, but you do it the same way. So we're gonna take 76 times three is 228 and then 29 times 3 is 87 and now we know again we know that those minutes are too large so we would take 60 of them away and it would make another degree so our answer would be 229 degrees and 27 minutes Let's try the division ones here. The division ones are very done very similar also is that you would kind of do like the distributive property and divide each one of these by three. So we're going to do 18 divided by three is six degrees. 45 divided by three is 15. And three divided by three would be one and we don't have any regrouping to do because nothing's more than 60 on there. All right, let's try this last division one. We've got to divide these sections by four. So we go 105 divided by four is 26.25 degrees and 20 divided by 4 is 5. Now we need to think with our think a little bit about how to regroup this because we can't have this decimal that's here. All right. If we think about a degree, a degree is 60 minutes, right? Half of a degree would be 30 minutes and then a quarter of a degree would be 15 minutes. So this quarter of a degree that we have, we're going to regroup it with our minutes and it's going to end up being 26 degrees and then we're adding that 15 onto there that we regrouped in 20 minutes. So we have to kind of think a little bit about what the decimals or what the halves, the quarters would be of a minute and to regroup that one. Let me, let's do, move over and switch gears a little bit and do some adding and subtracting problems. Now adding and subtracting, you would put these underneath their respective 
places. And then there's no minute or there's no seconds in this one. And this is an adding problem. So we're going to add each of the sections. And then we'll see if we have to regroup anything. And it does look like I need to regroup because this 75 is larger than 60. So the 18 seconds would remain 18 seconds, but I'm going to take 60 of these minutes and I'm going to make another degree out of them. So this would be your final answer for that problem. Subtraction can be interesting, okay? The very, this first example that we're going to do with subtraction is very straightforward. You line it up underneath, 76 degrees, 10 minutes, and 14 seconds. You subtract each of the individual parts. There's no regrouping to do, so this is your final answer. The last one, the last subtraction problem that I want to show you is going to cause you to have to borrow, okay? And borrowing is a little bit different when you're talking about degrees, minutes, and seconds. Um, but let's line it up underneath. that you're going to see that you need to borrow because you can't do 23 minus 58. That would give us a negative number and we can't have a negative number. So what we have to do is we're going to come over here and take one of these degrees. Oops. Take one of those degrees. It would make it 62. And when you borrow a degree, how many minutes are you actually borrowing? There's 60 minutes in a degree, so when I borrow this degree, I'm actually adding 60 to my minute column. So this would be 83 minutes. And now I can do my subtraction, 83 minus 58 is 25. And 62 minus 32 is 30. All right. I hope this video is useful for you when you do your Google quiz. Try your best, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.